Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll join us in the Melking Shorthorn Ring, the placings are final. In the fall calf class, would our junior exhibitors please take a step forward? But first in third place, congratulations to entry 1953, Apples and Waves Fantasy Rain, owned by Goodview Genetics and Amy Maxim, Ennisburg Falls, Vermont. Second in the class and the second junior, congratulations to entry 1974, Hankasine Wildside Riot ET, leased by Cameron, Cameron Ryan and owned by Peter Vale, Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. And winning the class, she is the first junior, best bred and owned, entry 1990, Manisha Creek Excite Me EXP, leased by Justin Brandle, owned by Mina Schmidt, Lake Mills, Wisconsin. Congratulations. And now to our judge for his reasons. What a tremendous class in our uh, uh, fall calf class. And for us, when uh, this heifer moving out in first, she was the last one in the ring, but when she got in the ring, it was her race. You love that high style of this heifer. She's so balanced all the way throughout. That beautiful uphill run, a heifer that shows you beautiful cow power and substance all the way through that frame. It's that cow power and substance that gives her an advantage over our dark heifer moving out in second. We just preferred that uphill run to her front end. We preferred that uh, substance and fullness up through that crop for us today over our second prize heifer. But taking nothing away, our heifer in second, you certainly admire, she follows that same pattern. You admire that openness and that quality and femininity all the way through that frame. And it's that femininity and quality that gives her an advantage over our youngest heifer in the class here this November, heifer moving out in third. For us, she's just longer, cleaner through that head and neck. She's sharper down that top line. She's a heifer that's more curving in those hooks, pins, and thighs for us today. In addition, she's a heifer that just is so much more dropped her rear flank when you get behind her, a little more sweep to that rear rib as well. Third over fourth, a heifer in fourth. Uh, for us, our heifer in third, just moves out on a beautiful set of feet and legs. And it's that foot and leg that gives her an advantage over our fourth and fifth prize heifers. For us, we preferred the more centrally placed thorough, allowing her to flex a little more freely, a little more comfortably on those hind legs as she travels throughout the ring. Fourth over fifth, a little closer placing for us, but when we get them in the line, our fourth place heifer, we moved uh, up one. She was just a little bit more cow power uh, when you get to the front of her. You prefer the width through her muzzle, the width through her chest floor. She's a heifer that's just a little more width all the way through that chest and a little more spring to that rear rib for us when you get behind her. Fifth over sixth, Again, another really beautiful, stylish heifer here in fifth. And it's that style and femininity that gives her an advantage over another really balanced heifer in sixth. She's just so much cleaner through that rump structure, more in curving in those thigh for us today over a really balanced heifer in sixth. Congratulations.